Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. This is Joel. Today, the Kadex Defense Strike Nuke Evo. All right, guys, so we're doing something a little bit different today, and that is I've got Ryan from Kadex Defense on the phone. I'm actually going to be recording his voice through Google Voice. Uh, for uh, the um, the voice track of this video today. So you're going to have to kind of forgive a little bit of the audio. I'm redoing my questions with decent audio because actually my voice ended up turning out really bad on the uh, on the cell phone. Uh, Ryan's came out okay. So I'm, uh, I'm going to use his voice. I just wanted to let you know why the difference. But um, Ryan, let's kick this off with just a, a brief intro about yourself, please. Yeah, for sure, Joel. Uh, my name is Ryan McLean. I am uh, customer service and sales for uh, Kadex Defense up here in Canada. Uh, I've been with the company since the summertime, and uh, actually was shooting for them before that as well on their on their shooting team for the PRS shooting and uh, ELR shooting as well. All right, let's talk about the Strike Nuke Evo chassis. You know, it's got some similarities to some of your hunting stocks. Uh, obviously, but it also has some uh, some cues taken from some of the the higher end uh, precision rifle chassis that you build. So let's uh, let's get into that a little bit. So we wanted to uh, expand our line a few years ago to uh, kind of reach into that sector of people that that like the the feel of the stock, but wanted the benefits of a chassis system. So in the Strike Nuke. We actually have a uh, aluminum micro chassis that runs from just in front of the recoil lug down into the grip, which makes for a super solid uh, bedding area for the for the action to sit in. Um, and then we wrap that in a, a high density fiberglass reinforced polymer um, that we have uh, we have formed up, and uh, it just makes for a great package that uh, for that the guy that wants the benefits of you know say M lock on the fore end and that that nice solid bedding area but likes the feel of the uh the more traditional style stock so let's talk about what that strike nuke is made out of yeah absolutely it's uh it's quite a process we go through to form this um it's the product that we use that the chassis is actually made out of it is called a high density uh fiberglass with uh, that is reinforced with polymer so it's um it's a hybrid. We'll put it that way. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. the nice part about it is the aluminum is not bolted around the aluminum. The, the aluminum uh, micro chassis is actually formed inside the actual stock, so uh, it's bonded directly to it. Uh, and then we machine that section out uh, in house to ensure that we have a perfect alignment of everything uh, for that that bedding area after it gets in. Um, the to put it put it lightly, the thing is incredibly stiff. It's nothing like you see, uh, you know, for your your factory style stocks where they have the the flex in the forend. I, I would be willing to stand on it between two cinder blocks, and you know, I'm a pretty big guy. All right, now let's just run down the feature list of the Strike Nuke Evo chassis. Maybe just start from the front or the back. You choose, and just uh, just break down the feature set for us. Okay, so I guess we'll start at the back end. Uh, so it is adjustable for length of pull with spacers that you can you can uh, pick up from the shop here. Uh, we do supply a couple with it already. Uh, so you can get a length of pull, and it'll be between uh, 13 and a half up to 15.8 inches. Um, moving forward from that, the cheek rest is kind of a neat design on that one. Uh, it's a quick turn uh, dial on the side there, and it's also spring loaded. So when you release the tension on the on the dial, it actually will jump up to the highest position, allowing you to you know get down in behind the gun and, and set it to exactly where you want, and then tighten it down very very easily, never having to come off the gun to tension it back up. Um, we also can put an accessory rail on the bottom side, so you can put a monopod or you know a bag rider or something like that on it as well. Uh, we do we do sell the bag riders and you know monopods you can pick up aftermarket. Uh, you know, moving forward um, into the grip, like you said, the we have some pretty aggressive stippling on the grip there to uh, you know make sure you don't slip and uh, give it a little extra maneuverability. Uh, and has has a, a little bit steeper angle than you would see on a traditional uh, AR style grip, we'll, we'll call it, um, and a bit of a, a, a thumb shelf there too. Um, obviously, the the trigger well is a little oversized, so if you are you know hunting in the winter time or shooting in the winter time, you can wear gloves with it. 
and it does have a uh, ambidextrous uh, mag uh, release there too. Uh, the mags uh, that this gun's set up for are the uh, AICS mags, um, and it is inleted for either Remington long action or short action. And we also do have an inlet for the Tika T3, T3X um, uh, for short action and for their CTR mags on that. Uh, the forend, it's got a, I think it's a nine and a half inches of M lock on the forend. Uh, so you have lots of room for accessories on there, and we just released the new uh, Arca rail that will fit directly to this gun, so it does fit perfectly that nine and a half inch length on the forend. And then there are two M lock slots on the sides there uh, for more accessories. You know, I put a quick release on there, or uh, we also do have a night vision hood that you can throw up there as well. Great, great, yeah, so many great features, and um, you know, I've just got my my Voodoo Tactical um, 22 long rifle dropped into here right now, and I, you know, I've got 100 yards available in my backyard, literally, and so I can go out and uh, and hopefully get all the B-roll footage and everything I'm going to need to put this video together. Um, you know, COVID and all that, I didn't want to get out and about too awful much, but uh, it, there's so many great features that I want to show you guys on this video. So Ryan, who's the who's kind of the target consumer? Um, who, who's going to buy this thing, and and what is the uh, what is the cost of it? So that is one of the nice parts about this chassis system is the price point is pretty pretty fantastic. <laughs> um, it comes in at uh, just about five sixty five hundred sixty dollars US uh, for the for the chassis base chassis system. Um, the idea behind this is is for the consumer that's you know, they already have their 700 or their Tika, and they want to upgrade that to the next step. It's our entry-level uh, product at a, you know, a very economical price, but with a pack full of lots of features. All right, great. So let's transition now into the Falcon Light bipod. Uh, I have it mounted up uh, to my rifle right here in front of me. So um, let's just kind of break down some of the features of the Falcon Light bipod, because it's got some pretty neat things I want to I wanna tell people about. Yeah, for sure. So the, the Falcon Light, uh, it was a contract that we had uh, that the, from a military unit that wanted a, uh, a lighter bipod that also had the ability to pan and uh, also could still level it out. And, you know, it's still a lot of the features of our standard Falcon uh, with the leg adjustments, uh, 45 forward and back, and uh, also quick pull legs. So you can uh, quickly, you don't, have to de uh, you don't have to push down the button to pull the legs out. You can just give them a quick yank, and they can go to whatever length you'd like. Uh, it does weigh in at just under 400 grams, so it is fairly light. Uh, pick rail mounted uh, with a, a, one, a single cross bolt for where, the, where it locks down, and actually there's a secondary uh, lug on there too to help uh, really um, secure that bipod to your Picatinny rail. Yeah, you know, for me, probably one of the most unexpected features of the bipod was the the feet and how quickly you can change, you know, add the extensions or, or change the feet out. It's just a little detent, um, and then the feet unscrew from the bottom of that bipod. You can quickly screw on, uh, you know, the, the extensions or the other feet. I just, I was kind of blown away by that. I thought... You know, it's such a simple thing, but sometimes the simple things make all the difference. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's one of my favorite features on it as well. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network today. Hopefully you appreciated all of the expertise and the kind of insider look uh, from Ryan up there at Kdex Defense. Uh, really appreciate having him on here today. A little bit of a unique um thing we tried for video hopefully you guys like it go ahead and hit us up with some comments down in the comments section ryan uh, looks over those comments and would be happy to answer any questions you might have you guys consider supporting through patreon as always and stay tuned for another great video